on today's show. And uh, if you camp on the ice, you can camp anywhere. The ultimate snow adventure. Chris, are you ready to tackle this? Let's do this thing. We hike into a wilderness lake where the fish are biting. <laughs> Oh, yeah. And so is the cold. There it goes. <laughs> we tackle winter camp as only we can. This is awesome. And but I've got a little invention. We'll get you geared up for the ice season. Northern Beer and your Minnesota Select GMC dealers present. There you go. <laughs> Do North Outdoors. Here are your guides, Bill Scher and Laura Scher. Welcome to the show. We're glad you tracked us down due north. Today, the perfect winter trip as we strap on the snowshoes and head out into the wilderness in search of winter lake trout. In life, every adventure starts with a hook. This is ours. Well, you guys are going in what's called the base camp. Inside a small North Shore shop, outfitter Michael Johnson helps us gear up for the next two days of our lives. This winter camping thing is really starting to explode, uh, especially in that 20-year-old uh, to 32-year-old bracket. That's Troy Tufto, and behind him, Chris Whitty, fishing buddies of mine and newbies to the winter camping game. And uh, if you camp on the ice, you can do camp on the ice, you can camp anywhere. Together, we map our adventure. The plan, hike in on snowshoes, camp on a lake, and hopefully find a few fish. I threw in four brownies, so you're going to have to fight over who gets the four brownies, and they're just, they're extra. I think it's an order of fish caught. You might as well just lay that on the line right now. Please go in order of fish caught. Oh, and that's Chip Lear, our fourth fishing buddy. The young guy, Mac, he volunteered to guide us. He'll have his work cut out on this trip. I'm trying to get it uh, just so I can travel. <laughs> this is what you call not planning. He is actually trying to see if your pack boots are actually going to fit your snowshoes before you've ever worn them on them. We are here, and we're going out there somewhere. Chris, are you ready to tackle this? Let's do this thing. Just after sunrise, we leave the pavement and head towards Minnesota's unknown. We're leaving civilization behind. Another quarter of a mile, we go to wilderness. Kind of like cheating. It's so nice. Oh, this is feeling great. I'm feeling we're on the verge of something really cool. You just know that you gotta you just keep putting one foot in front of the other, and then as long as you pace yourself, you can do anything. Even on dead flat terrain on a sunny 30 degree day, this is work. Are we there yet? <laughs> like I always say, you gotta earn it. But it was kind of a surprise because I thought we were going in two miles. <laughs> Five, two, what's the difference? <laughs> Finally, about lunchtime. We made it. <laughs> it was uh, right where we're supposed to be. Because <laughs> ten more feet would have probably killed me. <laughs> now, the real work begins. After a long hike in, this is what I need. More exercise. Oh, oh that's nice. Oh. Those are cute little chairs you got. <laughs> you shovel up a pile. When you're done, you double it in size. Half of us plan to sleep in snow caves. The others pitch a winter tent. This is what the Voyagers used to do. Complete with a wood stove and chimney. Just out front of where we camp, it's a fishy looking spot. 
the thing about chasing trout in the winter time is that this is their time of year. They fight like no other time of year. There we go. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> this one you're not backing off on because of these boys, the bet is everything. <laughs> that was definitely a trout. He's starting to pump a little bit. Look, how do you not like this? <laughs> I'll walk 20 miles through the wilderness in a blizzard to get to a bet rod like that. Man. Look at this. Oh, yeah. There, oh, yeah. there he goes. <laughs> the best thing about this is this is a brownie. <laughs> That was sweet. Heck, we've got a lot of work to do yet tonight, but it'll have to wait. After all, yeah, that's a pretty small one. The fish are biting, and we already <laughs> feel at home outdoors. Well, that's a brownie. Here, I was worried that I was using too big of a bait. <laughs> On the board. Still ahead. We're probably going to have to change our strategy. We run into a couple of unforeseen obstacles. To anybody else, that's a hill. To <laughs> us, that's a mountain. As we try and find a secret fishing spot. Do North Outdoors is brought to you by Joe Sporting Goods, Strike Master, Aluma Trailers, and by Radco. Do North Outdoors is presented by northern beer so winter camping is really a state of mind especially when the temperature drop and you realize your home is nothing more than a cave made out of snow so here we are tucked away in the deep north woods i love this stuff a lot look how do you not like this the fish are biting and we slowly settle in to winter camp. I'm having a lot of fun. This is going to be a great story for me. It's almost dinner time. We need to finish setting up before dark. I love that tent. Hot camping with the hot tent. I mean, that's great. I mean, you can be in your shorts sitting in the tent. No, I'm, I don't think I've reached the uh, snow cave yet. I don't think, I don't think that's in my makeup. I am still more of the Bounty Waters Hilton kind of guy. Half the crew decides on the tent. Troy Tufto and I stick to a seemingly bolder plan. This is at my core as an outdoorsman. It's been that way since I was a kid, surviving in my own homemade shelter. This is as big as a four-man tent, and a heck of a lot more comfortable. As we drift away, life outdoors under a cold sky seems right. Come sun up, not all goes well. See how I browned him on the edges? <laughs> <laughs> At least everyone's up. <laughs> Almost. No sign of Troy. Maybe we lost him. We got blueberry pancakes. We got some sausage links. The guys are drinking coffee. Sasquatch! There he is! <laughs> hey, Bill, you think that honey is going to work right now? Winter. Heck on honey. Do you have a fire in your snow cave? No. What do you mean a fire in my snow cave? I know. That was an option? <laughs> That's really neat. I mean, that was one of my goals on this trip, was to sleep in the snow cave, and I actually am, am looking forward to sleeping in it again tonight. But first, we've got a full day. We pack fishing gear for a nearby lake. Rumor is, it's an easy hike in and full of lake trout. But out here, nothing goes as planned. There's probably 180 to 200 steps. So we're probably going to have to change our strategy. To anybody else, that's a hill. To us, that's a mountain. <laughs> I think the thing to do is grab one sled at a time and just walk them up in teams. I'm all for that. and some poles.
This is awesome. Pretty bad. The rumor is there are a lot of lake trout in here. This has taken me the longest time to get out to the fishing spot. The most work, but you know, there's a reward of just kind of being here. It's blustery and there's some snow going around, but it's not a cold day by any means. This is the way you earn your fish. Oh, he bumped it. Oh, there's one. Come on back, buddy. Come on back. Come on back. I just like the fact that you could catch a one pounder or you could catch a 20 pounder. And you, you don't know. All right, beautiful. Oh, I just missed one. <laughs> you distracted me. I'm telling you, these are going to taste delicious. You appreciate everything out here more. Go, Troy, go. Doing it winter camping is, <laughs> is unlike anything else. Out in the cold, first-timers thrive. It's proof that this game is truly mind over matter. It's certainly not a cakewalk, but it's not, not that difficult. And it's actually really comfortable. This is awesome. Shovel of trout. <laughs> Coming up, our winter adventure continues. But first, discover another great spot to sneak away on snowshoes. And we'll show you how to build your own winter gear sled. Do North Outdoors is brought to you by Otter Outdoors, Aquaview Underwater Cameras, and by Northland Tackle. Check your compass. It's time for the Do North Road Trip. Brought to you by McCarthy Buick GMC in Coon Rapids. Okay, so not all adventures are created equally, especially when you strap on snowshoes and head into the boundary waters during winter months. Winter campers can pick literally hundreds of different routes into the wilderness area. Just be prepared to wrestle lots of snow and blaze your own trail during the off season. Now, many campers choose to build and sleep in snow shelters. They're called Quincy's. Remember, snow acts as an insulator, so snow caves can be quite warm, even on the coldest winter nights. Keys to these winter trips include warm clothes, plenty of food high in calories, and a fishing pole. On lakes like Tuscarora, you'll have a good shot at lake trout. If you choose to visit the Boundary Waters during snowy season, remember you'll need a winter permit, which you can fill out at all BWCA entry points. Today's Do North Insider is presented by Rapid Marine. Hey, there I'm Bill Shirk, the man about the woods. You know, getting around during the winter months through snow and ice, we all know that can be kind of tough at times. But I've got a little invention here that's kind of fun and it's pretty useful too. Let me show it to you. It's called a polk sled. You know, polk is actually a Finnish word for polka and it means a toboggan used for sports and hauling stuff. You can actually make one of your own with just a few bucks. I use an otter sled because otter is a partner of ours. All you do is drill some holes around it, thread some line through so you can hook your bungee cords to it. That's also what you use to pull the sled. And then the fun part are these poles right here. I use PVC with a little rope through them. All you do is attach them to the front corners and you go for a walk. Click to the sled, click to my butt pack, and then you just go. Polks are awesome because these poles keep the sled from sliding into you when you're going down a hill. What's really cool about these things is they'll take a lot of weight. For ice fishing, I can put 80 pounds of gear in them, no sweat through the deep snow. We'll even use them for winter camping. Heck, we go into the boundary waters and we'll haul 100 pounds of gear a guy and pull these things four miles. Piece of cake, they're nice and easy, even in the deep snow. 
I'll even put my son in sometimes and we'll go for walks in the snow at night. Folk sleds, really cool little winter inventions. Try one, you might just like them. Straight ahead. I can feel my arm again, so it's funny now. <laughs> This trip starting to swirl quickly. Our winter camping adventure culminates around the campfire. Bottoms up, boys. Bottoms up. You're watching Do North Outdoors. Check your compass. It's time for the Do North Classic. In the dead of winter, fish on right behind us. Good fishing makes a guy forget the cold. At least for a while. Thanks, Troy. Oh, now I'm going to be cold. <sighs> when your friend's got a fish down the hole, you encourage him to put his elbow down deep. <laughs> I kind of like grizzly bared him out of there. I went paws, paws in. <laughs> <laughs> on a truly cold winter day, that could have been a dangerous move. But on this winter adventure, Chris's catch just adds to the story. Anybody can do this. They just got to want to do it. We're two days into winter camp. Woo! The fishing's been good. The company, great. And the view, well, this wild world leaves us nearly speechless. Sometimes it's overwhelming. I can't get over the fact that there's literally nobody back here. After a full day of fishing, we hoof it back to base camp. It kind of feels like we're coming home. There's a lot of satisfaction in, in doing it yourself. There's a lot of satisfaction in getting places that nobody else can get to. Good. Look at that. Not even a one match fire. Tonight, we party. We celebrate tonight. Yeah. Raise your hand if you cut a trout by hand today. Oh. Whoa. <laughs> I can feel my arm again, so it's funny now. Chip, that's pretty cool, a shovel of lake trout. This, this is awesome. Shovel of trout. <laughs> so we roll. We cook in our simple winter kitchen. Hot soup for the soul. Fresh trout warms the mind. Now this. Nice first course. Delicious. Camp food tastes better than any food ever. It is the best trout ever. Absolutely. Winter camp calories come guilt free. After all, that energy keeps the body going. First fish gets first pick of brownie. That is a score. Look at that. That's a good brownie. I think I'm going to take the worst brownie. <laughs> I think in honor of the guys in the first lake trout, we need to have a toast. I did bring a flask. I like that. Oh my God. This is what you make a toast of. <laughs> <laughs> Where I come from. <laughs> this trip starting to swirl quickly. <laughs> oh my God. That is how it's going. There we go. Bottoms up, boys. Bottoms up. <laughs> And so it goes. This story proves anyone can thrive outside, even in the dead of winter. The mindset, never fear snow and cold. If you did that, you'd never go outside in Minnesota. Oh man, what a fun, fun trip. I'm thinking you need one of those for your next winter camping excursion. You'll need one too, because you're coming along. Oh boy, sounds a little chilly. <laughs> <laughs> We're not going today. We're out of time. We'll see you next week. That's right. Remember to introduce someone new to the great outdoors. Oh, that's nice. Oh, those are cute little chairs you got. <laughs> you shovel up a pile. When you're done, you double it in size. This is what the Voyagers used to do.
He's not backing off on me. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. There he goes. <laughs> 